Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I made this little uh, random character, uh, just a little like doodle, doodle character. But I just want to show you when I would voxel remesh and when I would not. So if I'm doing a character like this, firstly, you notice that the arms and everything are a lot. A lot of the elements are touching. So I want to figure out what I want to be connected and what I don't want to be connected. So I can figure out if I want the head to be connected to the body, to be connected to the legs. Now, I think I like the body, the, the legs and the feet. So I'll probably connect those and just make it one fluid uh, piece. But before I do that, I want to figure out what else I want to voxel remesh uh, as far as things that are going to be connected to the body. So for example, I might want to voxel remesh, um, well, do I want to do the head? I don't know, I kind of want to do the head. So maybe I'll include the head uh, with the body. And if I'm going to include the head with the body, I'll include the eyelids as well. So I'm just going to drag, drag this up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm not going to voxel remesh the arms because I like this separation. I like that separation there. So let's take the body. So we have the body, the legs, feeties, the head, and the, the lids. So I think these are both of the lids, right? Yeah, so that's both of the lids. Oh, and do we want to do the tail and do we want to do the fins? Um, it's a good question. I'm not sure. Firstly, I don't know why these fins are like not straight. Or maybe that's just... But maybe we'll connect the tail. Let's connect the tail as well. And the reason why I box remesh them is because I do want it to look smooth and... I want it to look like one uh, character, like or not one character, like one piece. So now that we have all those, I'll go to voxel. And since everything is done, all of the details are pretty much done. I don't really have much else that I want to do. But if I want to add something else, it's going to be very high detailed. All the blocking is done. So I'm going to bring the resolution up pretty high. So we'll do like 500. And we'll voxel remesh. Um, I probably should have uh, subdivided the body, but that's okay because it has all these little these little uh, squares. But that's okay. We can smooth them out. I do like the creases, so I'm not going to smooth it out too too much. So we'll just do something like that. Now it starts to look like one, you know, one piece, which is what I want. The head, you can smooth that out. And I really like this line here. So I'm gonna go very soft over this line. I want it to be connected, but I'm just going very softly. Uh, so we have that break. Uh, if I wanted it to be really broken up, then I just wouldn't, I would just join it instead of remeshing. But when I color it, it's all going to be the same color, so I don't mind, I don't mind that at all. So I have to remember to go up here and um, smooth out the eye lids. And I'm just trying to take my time and smooth Smooth all this out. Symmetry's on, of course, so it does everything on both sides. So if I want to get that, if I want to get that edge back, smooth out this a little bit more. It's actually smoothing out pretty, pretty well for how high I remeshed it. So if I want to get those corners back, I might just have to flatten. Flatten's a great tool to flatten. Sounds redund redundant, but tools like the MVP. So you do that and then you do pinch. 
pinch is another MVP. I guess you can only have one, but I like pinch. And you can get those real professional looking edges back. And see how here, like I kind of lost a little bit of that edge. Uh, I'll take crease and sub. And with crease and sub, you can do something like this. See how I sort of bring that edge back? And then I'll take pinch. And then I'll finish what that started with the actual pinch tool. And just try to get that edge back. Okay, let's try to smooth this out a little bit more. And let's take crease without sub and let's let's see if I can just separate that a little bit. Just a little bit. I think that looks good. So there, you might have to pinch up a lot of these edges if you want to really get them looking clean again. Because unfortunately they do get a little messed up. But I don't always want them, want them to be perfect, but you know. So a lot of times I do want it to be perfect. So for something like this, the reason why I didn't, I know I might voxel remesh both of these. Actually, let's do that. So we have the antenna uh, A and B. So those, let me save first. Those I'll voxel remesh. They probably doesn't need to be that high. I'll just do like 250 or so. Well, actually we'll just go high. So I'll remesh them together. Smooth everything out. And the reason why I didn't voxel remesh this is because I want to use inflate and I want to inflate around it. On the head, I mean. I just like that, you know, it kind of looks like it's, it's legit coming out of its its face. I like to do that. I'll do that here as well. Oh, it's a little, oh, I don't know why this is, why the fins are off. That annoys me. It's very strange. Uh, let's see if I can, if I use the gizmo, if I move origin, do they go straight? They look straight now. But they look crazy. Uh, let's see what happens if I can re reposition them. Oh, it looks like it should be easy enough. Something like that. Are they straight? This thing is playing games with me. All right, let's see. Let's try to inflate now. Make it a little smaller on the body. Yeah, that's not bad. But maybe we'll do it all around the whole thing. So maybe we'll start small there. So we'll do something like that and then we'll smooth it out so it's a little more natural. And we'll do that on the big one too. The big one. Smooth it out. And maybe we want to put one here too. Maybe two is too much. Well, let's smooth it out and let's see what it looks like. It actually looks okay. Especially smoothed out, looks okay. Uh, also, uh, I didn't do the, the arms. So let's do that on the arms as well. Oh no, I was in the right spot. But I should have done it's 
It's kind of hard to get around the, the whole thing at once. Smooth it out. There we go. Just get it looking nice and natural. It'll smooth this out a little bit more. Oh, I don't think I smoothed this out. So let me smooth out these legs a bit and feeties. Maybe I want to give him some creases. Uh, and I think I want to do the arms and the fingers. Uh, so the arms and the fingers, let me just save real quick. I do want to subdivide those. Sometimes when I'm going too fast, I literally uh, forget exactly what I'm doing. That happens all the time. I'll just go 350. Remesh them together. Give them a nice smooth. I see some Okay, that looks good Fingers look good Pretty happy with that Teeth look good Now the teeth are joined The teeth are joined together So if I really needed to do something Or change something I could actually change each of these teeth um, So I just leave them joined because I don't, I, I like the separation in them. I don't need to hollow them out or anything. Do I want to smooth inside the mouth there? It's looking a little rough. And let's push this little, push that up there. There we go. Okay, so now these are looking good. Now these are, uh, the two fins are joined. So they're just joined. They're not uh, remeshed together. Uh, they don't really need to be because they're not really connected to any, or attached to anything. And plus, I, I might want to change the color on those as well. Uh, and also, if I really wanted to move one of the arms around or move them both around, at least I can still uh, do that. Let's see if I can, if I wanted to make one of those thingies that 3D characters make. Or 3D designers make something like this. Actually, kind of like that. It's kind of cute. But I would have to change the little... I would just smooth this out and make a new uh, little flappy for him. But that's pretty much how I do like my my... My remeshing, so I I just remesh to certain things that I that I really want together. Uh, let's rename it um, main, and then I usually have to rename all these. This becomes arms. Uh, the name is whatever the last thing, whatever the last mesh that you select, it becomes that name. By the way, so you have the antennae teeth eyes so I think that's pretty good let's give him some yeah I think that's pretty good I was going to color him but maybe I'll do a new video uh, to color him I really just wanted to talk about uh, remeshing and voxel remeshing so if there was something that I really wanted to change I could view, I could remesh at a low number and then I could really smooth it out and start again so like if I wanted to uh if I wanted to change this, like if I if I move the arms around and I wanted to change and get rid of this, uh, I would have to take the body and remesh it low. The only problem is you would lose a lot of these details. So you want to make sure that you have everything done. Uh, I don't usually voxel remesh everything together like this until I have all the details, everything is worked out. Because you don't want to work backwards. You want to do a really high voxel remesh towards the end so that you can clean everything up. 
Uh, and then of course, you know, you can go, you can go ahead and um, decimate at a certain point in time to, to bring the size down, uh, which is, you know, you just tap on it and then go here and then decimate. And you can usually bring down a lot of these shapes uh, quite a bit, you know, like it still looks pretty good. Um, I'm not worried about it because I'm just going to color it and I'm not going to rig it or anything. But that's how you would go and bring the size of your uh, the size of your sculpt down. Just tap on it, and then you can decimate and bring everything down so it's not so so big. Uh, but usually I'll color one and do a high res one, and then I'll do a separate one. I'll save it as, and I'll do a separate one that's low res in case. Um, I just like to do. I like to keep one that's high res in case I want to do anything or change anything, and then make a different one just in case you know i wind up messing it up it's very possible all right i'll color this in another video um please remember to give me a like apparently that's what youtube looks at so my stuff can get out there and i can just continue to make more videos and we can make more cool 3d all right keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching if you like the video give me a like Subscribe if you aren't already, and if you're really serious about the tutorials and the lessons, then check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to drugfreedave.com for more information. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.